Hello and welcome to week 37 of the Franken Scrap Crochet Along. And this week we're making the caramel stitch. So this is a pretty stitch that makes like swirls of uh, caramel going through your piece. So this one is best done in two different colours to really make those swirls stand out. And for this piece you're going to be starting with a foundation chain of 54. So to start your caramel stitch you're going to be making a single crochet in the third chain from your hook. And your turning chain counts as your first single crochet. So I've popped a stitch marker into the first chain from my hook for that. And then you're just going to make a single crochet in every stitch across. Okay. So row one is just a row of single crochet. Then turn. chain one and make a single crochet in the first stitch of the row and then row two is another row of single crochet. So we're going to have another row of single crochet as well and these single crochet rows are going to set up so that we can make our caramel stitches which will be made into these single crochet rows. So row two, just make a single crochet in each stitch across. To that turning chain. Then turn and chain one. Single crochet in the first stitch for row three. And again, just make a single crochet in each stitch across. Let's grab some more yarn. Okay, so row three is just another row of single crochet. make a single crochet in that last stitch of the row but in this last stitch I'm going to change colour. So I'll just bring my next colour in and then turn, chain one. Okay. Make a single crochet in the first stitch. Just move my stitch marker up. So this is row four and we're going to start our caramel stitches. So after you've made a single crochet in the first stitch, we're going to get started on our first caramel stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into the stitch directly below, so between the stitches, so that hole there, into there, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, into the next one below, so down here, so that next hole all directly below each other, yarn over, okay, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. So that's seven loops, and you'll get this diagonal line coming down here. Now working into the next stitch, make a single crochet. And then we make another caramel stitch. In the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into the next hole down directly below, so here. So I help, find it helps if you just pull your stitches apart to be able to find that hole. Into there, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, you want the next hole below. So you can see where we made the stitch here, we skip this one, it's to here. Into there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook. Now make a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to have a row of all these lovely caramel stitches all the way across. Okay, and you repeat that across the row into the next stitch, then the hole directly below, 
yarn over and into the hole directly below that. Pull up all those seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through. There is no chain one after your caramel stitches. You just go straight to the single crochet in the next stitch and then repeat. One directly below into there, the loop, and then a single crochet in the last stitch of the row. But I'm also going to change back to my other colour. Okay, so you're changing colour in the last stitch of the row of your caramel row, then turn and chain one. Make a single crochet in the first stitch. Just mark that stitch. And then make a single crochet in every stitch across. So one in the top of every caramel stitch and one in the top of your single crochet. And just to repeat that all the way across. Okay, so that's the back of your caramel stitches and there's the front. So the rest of your caramel stitch is a repeat of rows two to five. And every repeat of row four is a caramel stitch. So you'll always have a row of three single crochet, sorry, you'll have three rows of single crochet between every caramel stitch. To complete your caramel piece, you're going to be repeating rows two to five until you have 15 rows in total. Once you've completed row 15, you can cut off and weave in your ends. And then it's time to join this piece to the rest of your Franken scrap. So to see how the, uh, this piece joins together with the rest and the full layout, click the link beneath this video and it will take you to the blog post where you'll find all the instructions you need. And don't forget, if you need any help, have any questions, the Facebook group is there to help you out and also just to get to know your fellow Franken scrappers as well. So once you've joined the caramel piece, that's week 37 complete, and I shall see you next week for the next piece. Bye for now.